There are so many different ways out there to alter the way that your images look. And when you're working on portraits, there are many small details that can help enhance the image. One of my favorite is the ability to change the color of a model's eyes. In this image here, the model had naturally beautiful blue eyes, but I wanted to warm them up to match the warmer tones because this photo was shot during the fall. So I took this image into Perfect Effects and I added warmer hazel eyes to again match the feel of the image. There's a couple of really great ways that you can do this and I'm going to show you the fastest inside Perfect Effects. I have my image open here inside Perfect Effects and on the right hand side of the screen I'm going to go over to the filter stack. Down at the bottom there's a small button indicated by a brush with a plus and a minus on top. This is our adjustment brush, and it's great for doing very small and very specific adjustments to an image in a select area. This is my favorite way of adjusting the color of someone's eyes. Just click once to apply it to your image. You won't see any change on your overall photo when you add it, and that's because it adds a layer with a black mask. That means that it won't make a change to your image until you paint it in manually. Down in the bottom, in the Filter Options pane, this is where we'll make changes. The first thing I need to do is change which preset I'm using. It's automatically set to Lighten, which you can see right up at the top on the left-hand side. If you open up the Preset drop-down menu, you have quite a few other options here. The one that we'll be using is Warmer, all the way down at the bottom. You'll see that all it's done is taken the color slider and moved it over to the right. The other thing that I like to do when I'm changing the color of the eye is I also like to go in and add a little bit of detail. The great part about using the adjustment brush is that you can change things like detail, contrast, brightness, and vibrance all at the same time. So I'll go ahead and take my detail slider and move it over to the right just a little bit, and that will help give the eyes the punch that they need. Now that we're all set, I need to zoom into my image, press Ctrl or Command, plus on my keyboard to get a closer look at her eyes. I can hold the space bar to move around my photo quickly as well. And then I just need to paint over the eyes themselves. Up in the tool options bar, you want to make sure that your mode is set to paint in. You can change the size of your brush to help make sure that it fits a little bit better inside the eye just by going up to the size slider and moving it to the left. It's also very useful to access our perfect brush or our edge detection brush. Clicking inside that box will give you the ability to access this tool, which bases its information on color inside your photo. That will help you make a very perfect mask around the eye. Once you're all ready, just click and drag, and you'll see the color of the eyes changing. We'll do the same thing on the right-hand side as well. We'll warm that eye up. And with that perfect brush, I'm not worried about going over the lines in any way. It does a great job of selecting both of the irises. Now, these have been warmed up a little bit, but I actually want to warm them up even more. Another great thing about using the adjustment brush is after you create the mask, you can still continually edit anything in the filter options pane. So I'll go ahead and take the color slider and move it even further to the right. I'll also take my vibrant slider and move that over to the right because I want to pump up the color. I'll take the detail slider and move it to the right even more to create more definition in the eye. And then I'll also take the brightness slider and move that over to the right because I want to lighten them up a bit as well. Now just in case you make any mistakes, you'll see that I went a little over the edge on the right eye here. Don't forget that you can still adjust your mask. Jump up to the tool options bar, swap your mode, from paint in to paint out, and any areas that you may have accidentally gone over, you can quickly paint out to make sure that you have that perfect selection. Now let's go ahead and let's zoom out, and we can take a look at our final image. This was the photo that we started out with, her naturally beautiful blue eyes, but to mimic the feel of fall, just using the adjustment brush, we changed the color of the eye all while simultaneously brightening them and adding a little bit of contrast to make them pop. 